Welcome to the HR Empowerment Podcast, where we will uncover strategies and new insights from HR professionals who discuss up-to-date regulations, best practices, and the most pressing topics like diversity and equity, leadership, dealing with difficult situations, and much more that affect your bottom line and business. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, Wendy Sellers here, the HR lady. Welcome back to the HR Empowerment Podcast for Aurora Training Advantage. And Happy New Year. How you doing, JC? Happy New Year to you too. I'm doing great actually. And uh, a big hearty welcome to everyone coming back to the HR Empowerment Podcast. It's going to be a great year ahead of us, Wendy. You know, we, it better be. <laughs> we don't really have a choice over the past few years that we've been in. I think, you know, 2023 uh, returned us to some normalcy, but maybe not so much for HR people. And that's what I'm going to talk about in our five point series today is getting real in 2024. I want to talk about everything from turnover and layoffs to the fact that people are still walking out the door and looking for other jobs and company culture and politics too. Go ahead, Jason. You got something? Yeah. When we get to the end of this episode, remind me, I've got a fast fact for you that I want to make sure we bring to the forefront, but let's get right into it, shall we? Yeah. Let's talk about, Hey, I want to talk about turnover. Uh, first of all, turnover and layoffs. So the one thing that we're hearing on the news and we've been hearing kind of in the, the last, uh, maybe quarter, possibly more of 2023 is, Oh, everybody's doing layoffs. Everything, you know, everything's going crazy. And you know what? I don't know about you, but my thoughts are the Companies that are really doing the layoffs right now, first of all, are usually very, very, very large companies. There could be some small ones, but I feel like they overhired due to the pandemic, either because, you know, what they were selling was needed in the pandemic, but it's not needed so much now or not desired so much now because people are out and about doing uh, things that they were doing pre-pandemic. What are your thoughts on that? I actually pulled some uh, recent statistics as of this uh, this very afternoon, the point in time of recording here. According to a December 2023 survey by Resume Builder, 38% of business leaders think layoffs are likely in 2024. And Newsweek does report that nearly four in 10 companies are likely to have layoffs in 2024. And more than half are planning to implement, believe it or not, a hiring freeze. Wendy, that does not sound good. It definitely doesn't. But I I just want to remind our listeners not to not to freak out because of the news, because the news does sell. Right. Um, But the facts are they have been they the news people have been talking about this for the entire year of 2023. And now the results are in and jobs are actually up. Um, now, maybe job openings are down because, hey, we've lived without that job opening being filled for 12 months. So we're just going to eliminate that position. But generally speaking, the facts are that there was more people being hired and be- jobs being filled throughout 2023, even now, recently in January 2024. And I really I, I could tell you that me and the recruiter on my team are incredibly busy still filling positions. Now, I think business owners are doing a better job at really looking at their job openings and saying, do we really need this? Do we need to backfill a somebody who just left or do we need to change the role altogether? Why? Because it's expensive. It's expensive to recruit. It's expensive to hire. It's re- expensive to retain, which we'll talk about a little bit more coming up. Interestingly, <laughs> payroll employment, believe it or not, increased by $2.7 million in 2023 an average monthly gain of $225,000 compared to $4.8 million in 2022, where the average monthly gain was $399,000. However, in December, uh, government employment did increase by 52000 nationally. Just some more end of 2023 stats for you, Wendy. Yeah, it's super important to know these. And I think, you know, you and I love sharing statistics. I like to be fact-based and not just emotional-based, although I've made many wrong decisions based on emotions. But, you know, we just need to understand what is happening at one company over there on the news. It may not be comparable of what's happening to your company. However, 
The one thing that is consistent is employees want to be paid well, they want to be treated well, and they want to work for a company who cares about them. So if you're not that company, then you better be doing something because they will jump ship and go somewhere else. And I found another statistic that I won't go into uh, in detail, but it did say that it was um, a report by Gallagher and it was called the Organizational Wellbeing Report. And they're saying that the foremost operational priority for organizations in 2023 and then moving forward is to retain their current talent. Here's the deal, JC, if you retain your current talent, then you don't need to replace them <laughs> and you don't need to be hiring, right? Yes, yes. You may need to still, uh, you know, give raises and fix your culture and benefits and everything, but retaining great employees is something that we've been struggling with for, for decades. It's nothing new. So now is the time to say, I don't want to be spending any more money on hiring. Let me keep my awesome, amazing employees that I have now. How do I do that? Let's shift the money from recruiting to retention. Super, super important. Yeah, absolutely. The cost associated with employee turnover does average between one to two times an employee's annual salary, as highlighted in the Integrated Benefits Institute study 2023. And a significant 61% of employers are grappling with challenges related to employee retention, as per the findings of that same study. Grappling with challenges related to employee retention. I didn't think it was that hard, Wendy. But it sounds like yeah, it might be. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's super, super easy, you know, to retain people. No, it's not. It used to be when you had no competitors or um, even your competitors weren't hiring. So when the economy is not doing great, retention's a little bit easier because your employees have nowhere to go. I, I personally I, I want to try to word this very uh, uh, um, nicely. I'm not thankful for the pandemic, not at all, because a lot of people died and there's a lot of negative things that came out of that. But in the positive sense, it made employers say, you know what, we need to make some changes here. Employees are needed. Otherwise, we can't make money, whether we're selfish or giving it away. We just can't do it. So change is needed. And the last thing I want to say before we go into episode two of five here is that the average tenure of an employee with a single employer stands at 4.1 years. And this was based off the BLA, Bureau of Labor Statistics in 2022. So not too far away, uh, four years, that seems like actually a lot longer than most people are saying that I know of. So if you can get somebody to stay four years, you're probably doing something right. With that said, thanks everybody for joining us today in our next episode of Getting Real in 2024. I want to talk a little bit about job hunting and, you know, really dive into a little bit more of the fact that your employees, happy or not, are still looking for another job or just curiously looking what else is out there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Thank you for joining the HR Empowerment Podcast brought to you by Aurora Training Advantage. We hope you've gained new insight and strategies to navigate the HR profession. We look forward to you joining us again on the HR Empowerment Podcast.